Hi everyone, welcome back. So today we are moving the hibiscus. And if you remember last year, I actually transplanted the same hibiscus to the location it is at now. So I'm moving it from this location to another location in November. I actually moved it in November last time and I moved it in November again. So let me take you back. So if you remember back here, whoops, me walking into the fence. This is what we were working with. And I'm going to insert a picture showing you what it looks like before. I pretty much abandoned this. I had a broken pipe here. There was snakes back here. I'm like, you know what? Y'all can have it. I, I, I left it. So this is the hibiscus. Um, it was loving its life, guys. It was in the sun. It was doing great. I even had some ranunculus. Is that ranunculus sprouting here? Yep. Here go a ranunculus here. I should dig it up and bring it to the front. But that leaves a bit different, so I know it is. But anyways, back to my hibiscus. So I'm going to get it dug and bring it to the front. So it's it's done blooming today. We're in November. It's Thanksgiving week. And let's get started, guys. All right, so this is one of the ranunculus that survived last year. It's right there. And that's leaves are different from all the other one. All the other ones are weeds and clovers. And they got drowned because of, like if you remember the pipe broke and all the ranunculus here, they died. If I see any more come up, I'll transplant them. But let's grab this one. I got the corms. So let's go ahead and put it in this new location. When I tell you, this root ball is so big. Last year it wasn't this big. This is the, this is the third season that I had, yeah, this is the third season that I've had it. So it's gotten pretty resilient. <laughs> so when I move it this time, I think I'm gonna move it again. Pretty sure I said that last time. Yeah. I think there's one root ball, one root that's anchoring it in. Let me see. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna try and haul it out. It's just heavy, so I think the roots are all clear. Ah. You see? It was clear. It's just that it's heavy. Oh, let's see how much roots we left in. Was this part of it? That's a major root right there. So hopefully it comes back because I think I cut that main root there. So I think that happened last year as well. I cut a major root, but it still came back big like this. So let's haul it on out 
and put it in its new location. All right, y'all ready to watch me struggle? Okay. I probably should have gotten the wheelbarrow. Too late. So I definitely underestimate the root ball and the hole size. So I gotta make it wider. And you see the deeper I dig, they go to sand, because I have sandy soil, this is all topsoil. I had poured here to plant grass. Yes, I planted the grass. So, this is all the sand down here. I think this is wide enough. Hopefully it is. Oh, uh, it looks wide enough. I'm going to get some biotone and put in there as well as water the hole and then water it in. So I'm going to put some water in the hole first. So I'm just mixing up the sand with the topsoil. Yes, I'm planting in sand. <laughs> All right, bitone. This help stimulates root growth. Well, that's what Laura from Garden Answer says. And she puts it in, ev it in everything she plants, and they do well. So I put it in everything I plant. <laughs> and that has made a difference in my plan. So we'll stick to it. What would Lauren from Garden Answer do? Haha. -ha. All right, so we're mixing it in. And then I'm gonna get the hose and water it in. Not water it in, but um, pretty much, I heard that you're supposed to put water in the hole before you plant. And since the sun is out, it's actually like three o'clock, you're not supposed to plant in the heat, but I've been trying to get this done all morning, then I just got caught in the sun, so it is what it is. So I didn't feel like dragging the hose all the way over here, so I just filled this up with water. Shortcuts, shortcuts. I'm just gonna put water in the hole. And I'm gonna let it sit for a minute so all the water can drain out and then I'll put the plant in there. Okay guys, so the water has dried up. Time to get this in there. And you hear some noise from my toddler. She is awake and she has found me. <laughs> so, Mommy. yes. I love you too, Mama. All right, let's get this heavy thing in the hole. Dark. Ah. Dark. <laughs> the moon? It's daytime, there's no moon yet. Where's the moon go? It went night night. It's gonna be out tonight. The moon. It's time the for the moon? sun to be out. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. Where's the moon? I'm uh. gonna get a bug on my finger. No, I don't want a bug on my finger. I think I should make it a bit deeper. So I gotta take it out and make it deeper. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. The bugs are getting full? Yeah. Are you food?
Okay, so I'm gonna backfill it and then I'm gonna water it in. And that's gonna be it for today, guys. Let me hurry up. Okay, good morning everyone. So today's the next day and just to give you a perspective, my small garden is to the left here and I have this big empty <laughs> plot right here. And yes, I do have Christmas decorations going up already and it's not even Thanksgiving yet. So yes, but I just want to show you the high biscuits because my battery died yesterday so I didn't get to show you the final look. And what was happening was I was so worried the root was still, a, it was deep, but it wasn't deep. What it was, it was heavy. Like there's a lot of dirt and the plant itself was very heavy. Now, a lot of you may be wondering why didn't I just cut off the branches and stuff like that. Um, last year, I did the same thing. I didn't cut it. I like the look because what's going to happen is going to die back and all the leaves are going to fall off and... It's just going to be sticks and I kind of like that for my winter interest. It's like a plant of sticks. <laughs> it looks cute. Like I, I like that in my garden for me. So that's one reason why I'm keeping the leaves on there because they're going to eventually just look like this. It's going to be all sticks sticking up and it also helps my boys when they cut the grass they don't come in and have the lawnmower go over it so it also keeps it as a place holder so you know exactly what's planted there and that there is a plant there and for them not to come in and cut it back because then i might have new shoots coming in and they will come in and cut it back i actually have two of these hibiscus and here go the plant tag here's hibiscus head over heels passion from bloomables it's one of the first hibiscus I got and I actually got two of them. The other one is in the forest. I still kept it down there. So that one's dying back as well. But what I was going to do, I was going to do a bunch of hibiscus along here. I may still do it. I'm not sure. But we will see. But yeah, it's watered in and it's looking great. The leaves are not drooping and it should stay green for a few more days or weeks and then it starts dying back because it's winter time and these are seed pods. I heard you can get more hibiscus from these I don't see the seeds in here so I just take them and crumple them up and throw them down there one day I will look to see how to do that and I may grow them from seeds if that's possible but I think I've seen people do that before um, I, like, I really like this and it's actually about I would say five foot tall so it gets wide I think it's like four feet wide I mean five feet wide by four so five by five or five by four so it gets really big and this one actually is a good plant for for those warmer climates so once it gets cold like I said, it's gonna die back everything I'm going to end up cutting it back once I see the new shoots start coming up and it dies back all the way to the ground and it puts new shoots out. I'll keep you posted on this hibiscus so definitely follow along for more. Um, subscribe, like the video and I'll give you guys, I think last year I did a lot of weekly updates on once it started sprouting up and I'll do that again this year because I think a lot of you guys like to see what it looks like, what to expect what month it starts coming in like i said i'm in zone nine so when my f mine start blooming first in the other zones you guys may not have any shoots yet and one thing that i noticed as well i have two different hibiscus i should have three but my other one that i have is a proven winners one that one comes up a lot later than this one this one comes up i think it breaks dormancy in february or march 
because I remember when I was doing my bulb videos I also had captured this one as well in the bulb videos but follow along guys and like I said subscribe and I'll keep you guys posted and thank you for watching and sticking through the video to the end have a great weekend guys bye